In our previous lesson, we have learned how to use data store to save our game's data in Roblox. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to save different values into multiple different data stores. To get started, let's go to service script service and we're going to add a script. Let's call it data store and put the following code in it. In the first line here, I'm declaring the data store service, which I'm going to use to declare my three data stores. The names are gold DSS, silver DSS, and bronze DSS. And here is my sample data, which is a dictionary table, which contains a key, and the value is going to be another dictionary table. Now to load the data store, I'm going to create a function. So local function and let's call it set data. And I'm going to have three different parameters. My first parameter is going to be the name of the data store table. Let's call it D store. Second parameter is going to be the key. And the third parameter is going to be the value. To load the data into the data store, I'm going to use the set async function. So I'm going to start with my data store name, which is passed in here in the dstore parameter. So I'm going to start with dstore colon set async. And my set async it's going to have two different parameters. It's going to have the key and the value. And I want to wrap a P call around that. So I'm going to say local success comma error equals to P call function And I'm just going to move this set async into the pico. All right. And here after that, I'm just going to check my success flag. So I'm going to say if not success, then send out a warning message. And my message is going to be the error message returning from here from the pico. Next, I want to create a function to retrieve the data from the data store. So local function and we're going to call it get data. And my function is going to have just two parameters. So it's going to be the name of the data store and the second parameter is going to be the key. I didn't want that. I just want to hit enter. And to get the data from the data store, we're going to use the get async function. So first start with the name of the data store, which is the store colon get async. And my get async is just going to have one parameter, which is going to be the key. Right, and I want to return this value and put it inside a P call. So local success comma value. So my my get async is gonna return the value into this value parameter equals to P call function. And let's move this inside the pcon. And now 
I want to check to make sure that it, it, the statement was executed successfully. So I'm going to say if success. And I also want to make sure that I have a value returned back from the uh, get async. Because if the first time the player comes into the game, there's going to be no value. So it's going to be uh, the value is going to be nil. So I want to make sure the value is not nil. So I'm going to say if n value is not equals to nil, then I'm going to return the my function is going to return back this value. So I'm just going to say return value. Otherwise, so if either it was not successful, right, or the value is nil, then else I'm going to return a zero. So I do not want to return a nil value. I want to return a zero instead, meaning the, the player doesn't have any point yet, any coin yet in this case, right? So now that we have our two function, the first one is to load the data store and the second one is to retrieve the data from the data store. Let's go ahead next. Um, we're going to use this data from our data dictionary to load our data store. So here we're going to go and load our data store. To load the data store, you're going to need to iterate through this whole dictionary one by one, right? one entry by one entry. So to do that, we're going to use the for in pairs loop. So I'm going to say for name, comma, coins, in pairs. And my table is data table two. So here the name for each entry in this dictionary, it's going to return the name. The name is going to be these values here. It's going to go into here. And the, the coins are going to be these dictionary, right? So these dictionary is going to go into the coins. OK, so let's see. For each one of those, we're going to do, we're going to set the data using our function. So we're going to say set data. And our data requires a uh, data store name, which is up here. So we're going to start with the gold DSS, right, comma. And the next thing it requires is the key. Our key is going to be the name. And the last thing we need is the value. So for gold DSS, we need to pass in this value 23 here. To get that value 23, it is your dictionary dot goal, right? Dictionary dot goal is going to give you the value of 23. So our dictionary is coins dot goal would give you this value, which you're going to pass inside your set data function. And your set data function is going to put in the key and the value inside goal DSS. And then we're just going to copy this line. We're going to do the same thing for the silver and the bronze. I'm going to change this. Instead of gold DSS, I'm going to say silver. And here it's going to be coins.silver. Right? Coins.silver is going to be the next key here. And then here I'm going to have Bronx DSS coins dot Bronx. So that should do it uh, for loading the table. So now we have this dictionary table loaded into our data store. So next thing we want to do is we want to test we want to retrieve the data from the data store to test. To retrieve the data from the data store, um, let me just pick a player that I want to test. So let's test with the new account. 
So I'm gonna copy his name. I'm gonna say local name equals to new account, right? That's our test player. And I'm just gonna print out his stats, right? From from these tables, from the three data store tables. I'm just gonna print out what he has. So I'm gonna do print. Let's start with his name. And we're gonna concatenate his name to, uh, let's say, first one, let's say gold coins equals two. And we're just gonna concatenate that with the value returning from our data store, right? So our data, uh, I'm sorry, the value returning from our function. So our function is get data here, right? So I'm just gonna put that in there. So I'm calling the function, I need to pass in the data store, which is go DSS. And the key here is the name. So I'm gonna replace that key with the name. The name is the new account here. And that's gonna get his gold coins. I also wanna get his silver coins and his bronze coins. Change this to silver. And this one is gonna be bronze. And also I need to change the name of the data store here. So this one is gonna be silver. And this one is gonna be bronze. Let's play to test. Gonna open my output window. And here it is. So um, the first one, line 39, it says new account gold coins equals to two. And if you check here, new account gold coins is two. Silver is 11 and bronze is 45. All right, so that works out. Uh, let's do one more test to, to be convinced. Um, how about we pick the last guy here? So I'm just gonna replace the new account with legend R and press play. Okay. Legend R, where's Legend R? It's right here. So he has 32 gold coins, 12 silver coins, and 81 bronze coins. That worked out. All right, so that's how you um, use multiple data stores in Roblox.